The coronavirus spread is changing the nature of Georgia's TV and movie industry, causing many private contractors and TV and film to come to terms with brand new economic realities. Ashton in the ATL recently spoke with a private contractor about how they are coping with the financial stress. And ladies, well, the backdrop of the Fox Theater is a perfect symbol for the entertainment industry right now. As you can see, most of the lights are out and the doors are closed. And as that means that a lot of independent workers, a lot of free freelancers, where they're seeing their jobs dry up. And a lot of them also don't have paid sick leave. They don't have health insurance. So they're trying to balance staying healthy while staying afloat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Just a few weeks ago, Jamal Simmons was busy booking gigs. It's all good. He's a director of photography, meaning he oversees cameras and light crews on film and television projects. A few weeks ago, I was shooting pilots for different people, shooting shows, you know, being active in my craft. You want to put this back? Put being this back an independent contractor is stressful. Good. But at least Jamal typically knows there's work out there to be had. People to be commission only, that's a really high, high stress position to be in. But if you prepare and you do diligence and you set up work to come even when you're not like needing the work, trying to keep the work coming in, then you'll, you'll, you'll power through, you'll make it. Can foods. However, the coronavirus pandemic has brought him an entire new level of unprecedented stress. Today, everything is at a standstill. His work and world just came to a sudden halt. You know, we depend on getting those gigs every month so we can pay our bills and, you know, feed our families and do everything we need to do. But when something like this coronavirus hits, you know, we really couldn't prepare for it. And, you know, as an independent, production company, you know, now we're looking for other ways to try to make money. But while independent contractors look for extra income, Jamal says many of them are in a panic. They're trying to figure out how long this is going to be, you know, what type of help is out there for independent companes who we, we're on a Fortune 500 anything. Did you put that in your mouth? What happens next depends on who you ask. As for Jamal, he's trying to stay optimistic. Right now, we're in survival mode. Um, you know, it's one of those things that we just, you got to deal with it. You know, we can either sit around and cry about it or we can make moves and figure out what we're going to do about it next. And that's the sentiment for a lot of freelance workers and independent contractors. Now, the government says that there is going to be national and local relief on the way. On the, way. the question is just when and how much. That's all for Astrid and the ATL.